Hello everyone, welcome to our educational channel. My name is Zetu, I am a registered nurse. Today I would like us to talk about the condition called cholecystitis. What is cholecystitis? Cholecystitis is the inflammation of the gall bladder. Gall bladder is a pear-shaped organ that is found beneath the liver. What is the function of the gallbladder? Gallbladder stores bile that is produced by the liver. What is the function of bile? Bile emulsifies fat during digestion. What are the causes of cholecystitis? The commonest cause of cholecystitis is the gallbladder stones. Gallbladder stones are made of bile salts. Another cause, it can be polyps that are in the gall bladder and another cause it can be tumors that can be in the gall bladder anything or any interference with the flow of bile can end up having the gall bladder to be in blamed. What are the signs and symptoms of someone who may be suffering from cholecystitis? One, the individual or the person will complain of abdominal pain. The pain can be sharp or the pain can be dull. The pain can last for few hours. It can be on and off. There will be bloating of the abdomen. That is another symptom. The person may present with fever, with high temperature. There may be nausea and vomiting. And even in severe cases, the, pe the person affected may show a yellow discoloration of the skin, which is jaundice. Once somebody is suspected to be suffering from this condition, it is important for that individual to get medical uh, Attention. How the doctor or physician will do the investigations or how they diagnosed in the hospital uh, cholecystitis. One, they will do history taking where they will be finding uh, where they will be asking a patient about the other things that may be associated with cholecystitis. They will do physical examination. There's quite a lot of tests that may do so as to try to confirm the diagnosis. Blood work will be done and include in there a full blood count as well as the liver function test. An abdominal ultrasound will be done to try to see what may be the problem or to try to confirm the diagnosis. X-ray, uh, ultrasound, MRI, all those tests will be done so as to come out with the right diagnosis. Once the diagnosis is confirmed, 
it is important for that individual, especially in severe cases, that the patient is admitted. The patient will be encouraged to fast. It is important not to take anything orally so as to relax the gall bladder. Therefore, intravenous fluid will be given so as to hydrate the patient. Something for pain or pain medication will be given to control the pain that the patient will be suffering from. And antibiotics will also be started, started to fight the infection that is already there. It depends on the severity of the condition. In severe cases, the doctor will actually encourage the patient to go for surgery where the gallbladder will be removed. And that operation, we call it cholecystectomy. Cholecystectomy can be done laparoscopically or it can be done as open surgery. In this operation, the gallbladder will be removed. What is the advice that you can give to this patient who had cholecystectomy post-surgery? Once the patient is, oper is operated, the patient will be kept in the hospital to recover depending what type of, of uh, cholecystectomy. In laparoscopic cholecystectomy, the patient can be discharged early or it can be discharged on the same day or it can be discharged on the following day. But if the patient had an open cholecystectomy, the patient will be kept in the hospital to monitor uh, the patient post-surgery. It is important for the people involved, doctor or surgeon, as well as the health workers, to educate the patient and reassure the patient that although the gallbladder is removed, the patient is still going to live a normal life. The bile is produced in the liver and it is stored in the gallbladder. Even if the gallbladder is not there, the bile will be still be produced and the bile will flow slowly into the duodenum where a malsification of that will take place. What is important is also to encourage the patient to try to take a, a diet that is fat free. Exercise is another important thing just to keep the patient fit and it can be any type of exercise. It can be walking as long as the patient is fit. Whatever exercise that will be suitable for, for the patient. It is important because in most of the cases, when the patient had cholecystectomy, you will actually find that the patient is worried how is going to be the lifestyle post-surgery. Whereas good health education and explanation of the procedure will also help the patient that having cholecystectomy is not the end of the road. She will be still be normal and doing all the activities that is supposed to do. For today, we will end up here with our short discussion of cholecystitis. Of cholecystitis. If you do like these videos, please subscribe, please comment and share. Thank you for love and support. Till next time, stay safe and